What's going on, party people? This is McGarren Flack, just going over some preventative things that I do with my fruit trees each year, usually when they're a bit dormant, but I'll get into that. All right, let's go off with the first one, a copper fungicide. I like to spray my fruit trees with this copper fungicide because it is a fungicide and it prevents fungal disease like mildew, leaf spot, fire blight, or even peach leaf curl which tends to happen if you get too much moisture in the air. Luckily, I live in a desert, and we don't have very much humidity here, so I don't have to spray it a lot, but if you live in an area where there is a good amount of moisture, then you'll want to spray this stuff more often. But the copper fungicide is pretty simple to make. You can buy it in a spray bottle or as concentration. For this example, you can see I have the concentrated version, which means that I take about one tablespoon and mix it in with a little over a gallon of water, and it turns into this awesomely beautiful aqua blue color. And it doesn't really have much of a smell to it, but it's a nice looking color. I mean, as you can see, you want to mix it thoroughly and then spray it. For other plants, you want to decrease the concentration because you don't want to kill the stuff. So when do you use it? Well, spray when the trees are dormant as a preventative. If you get lots of water when dormant, then you'll want to do a couple of applications when it's dry. So wait until the rains have subsided and it's, uh, you have a couple of days that are going to be dry and you want to spray it then. Also, you want to spray the fruit trees um, when they're leafing but you don't want to spray too much. This will slow down fungal growth. If you do see fungal growth on your trees, you can obviously spray it. Do not mix or spray with other fungicides like neem oil. Wait until it's dry before applying the other fungicides. So I will spray this stuff um, one day and then wait the next day or two and spray with neem oil because uh, it just gets rid, rid of the insects and stuff, which I'll go over in a little bit. Spray it all over the trees. Make sure you're getting the under part, the top part, the sides, everything on the trees because fungus can grow really anywhere. Anything that is south facing, you probably won't get much fungal issue because the sun will just bake it off. But when you spray it, make sure that you spray it in the morning or late evening to prevent chemical burn to the plants. And if you get a lot of rain again, and if you have a lot of humidity, you'll have to spray more often. Some people say if you get more than uh, two or three inches of rain during the dormant season, you'll want to spray a couple of times at least. And where I live in zone 8B in the desert, we got um, two inches in one month, which is a lot for us, but uh, not enough to do more sprays. Let's move on to the other thing that I spray. It's called neem oil, N-E-E-M oil. It is organic and it is made from the seeds of the neem tree. And it works as a natural pesticide and fungicide. So it does kind of what the copper fungicide does, except um, doesn't cover the peach leaf curl on some varieties of plants. So it is used as a fungicide to prevent black spot, blight, uh, a couple of other funguses. It also is used to be a pesticide. It kills eggs and larvae of aphids, and it keeps stone fruit growing because it gets rid of all those uh, aphids. I, I made a video on what happens if you don't spray your stuff for aphids, which happened to one of the trees that I purchased, and it's my four-in-one plum tree, pluot tree, that had a ton of aphids and didn't grow very much, but now it's starting to fruit. So how do you make this neem oil? You buy it in a spray bottle and you can just spray your trees if you don't have very many, or you can buy the concentration, which I do. I have over 60 varieties of fruit trees out here that I spray. It is concentrated and I mix it. I mix about a tablespoon in a gallon of water and I mix it thoroughly. Then I just start spraying it. I have this nice little pressure sprayer that I pump, 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 pump and spray it. And it, has a very uh, light, subtle smell to it. I kind of dig it. It's, it's not bad, but you got to make sure that when you store the neem oil that uh, you don't let it get too cold because it will turn almost into a solid, like a gelatin. And if you keep it in the heat a lot, um, 
it just decreases the effectiveness of it. So you want to make sure that you use all of the neem oil that you mix up and spray on things. Don't store it in, a, in the fridge or anything later for later use. So when do you use it? I like to spray these trees when they're dormant to prevent leaf curl and other insect issues. I also spray it when all the leaves and fruit are out at a max rate of like once every 14 days. Again, if you get more rain, you might have to do it more often, but um, 14 days seems to be pretty good. I Usually, I do it once in the spring and I don't have to do it ever again. Spray it all over your trees and plants early in the morning or late at night when, it, when beneficial insects are not out, like bees. This stuff will kill them. So the neem oil will surround them. They won't be able to breathe and they'll just die, which we want them to pollinate stuff. We don't want to kill them. If you get a lot of rain or humidity, you want to spray more often. Um, I spray on pre-growth and then maybe once after new growth. And another fun thing that you can do is you can add peppermint oil to the spray. It works as a repellent for bugs, an additional repellent. They just don't like the smell of peppermint, which again is why some people put peppermint in their orchards to kind of keep other insects out or away. But it's just nice to mix up with a spray and spray it down. Makes it easy. Now, other sprays I might use when flowers are budding or at other times is especially for nectarines. Holy cow, I have had issues with my nectarines. I use a spinosad spray and it kills thrips, borers, and caterpillars. Now, if you don't spray, the fruit ends up looking kind of like a mutated scarred fruit, almost like Frankenstein looking. It tastes just fine, but it just looks funky. And some people are like, mm, I'm not going to have that stuff because it just looks weird. So um, if you wait until the fruit has set, then the damage has already been done because these little thrips get inside of the fruit and they start terrorizing it right when it's starting to form. And it just holds on to that tear. It's like a scar that stays forevermore on the nectarine. Beyond the nectarine, I don't really have to spray any other tree uh, with the spinosad. If I see that there are a lot of aphids on the under part of leaves or they're starting to damage some of my fruit, I will spray with spinosad. It is a natural organic spray, which um, you can actually eat, I think, the next day after it is dried. So thank you for your time, and I hope this information was beneficial. Please let me know, do you spray at a different time than I do? It might be different because I'm in a desert versus being somewhere in a humid environment. And that information is always good to be able to share with other people. So I hope you have an excellent day and we'll catch you at the next one.